hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is jasmine and this is my season now um i have a really quick word of confirmation for somebody who is struggling right it's like you're you're in a wrestle with god you're wrestling you know with what god is telling you to do and where god is telling you to go you're wrestling with how your family gonna feel or what people may think and god just says that you have to hate your family, right? This is what the scripture says in Luke verses four, Luke chapter 14, verses um, 26. If anyone comes to me and does not hate his father and mother, his wife and children. So it means that you cannot, you cannot, Lord help me. This means that what what the will of God, the thing that God is telling you to do, your love for God has to override everything has to override your mama your daddy everything for listen forget what they think because at the end of the day you're gonna it's gonna be what god says okay you're gonna be held accountable for your obedience to what god is telling you to do not mama not daddy your brother uh-uh nobody so listen it don't matter how crazy you gonna look y'all and i'm the one right i'm the one that's done some things where my family just like jazz is losing her mind right but i know what god has told me to do okay i gotta share this testimony right so a couple years ago i used to work at this uniform plant like i was working at a plant and um i told my friend right she was working there with me as well um she was my friend before she came to that job like we just ended up working together so I told her before I left, before I quit, I was like, God is telling me to quit, right? God is telling me to quit. So, um, you know, I quit the job. And then like a couple months, maybe a month or, you know, a month or so later, I was in Walmart and there's another girl who used to work with us at the plant. And she was laughing at me, y'all. She was like, um your friend said that god told you to quit your job right and they were laughing at me they were laughing at the fact that i quit my job based on what god told me to do but y'all let me tell you when i left that job god gave me a job that made what like five dollars more not only that but not only that but during covid like the whole shift shut down like they had to lay everybody off so when I tell you, do what God is telling you to do now and let them laugh because God is going to get the last laugh. God is going to get the last hee hee ha ha. Let them laugh at you, sis. Because if you know that you know that you know God told you to do it, he's going to get the last laugh. He said every tongue that rises up against you, he's going to condemn it. I feel embarrassed. I felt embarrassed, but some of them same coworkers, the exact same coworker, a few weeks later, asked me to help her do her application at the job I'm on, I'm on now. This is the God that I serve, that he would not let me be put to shame. He said, let them laugh now. But guess what? Double. It's going to be double. That job, I don't even have to go into details, but this is for somebody who is struggling with doing what God has told you to do, right? And you're worried about what mama going to think or family going to think or your friends going to think or your coworkers going to think or whoever, whoever. You cannot please man and God. You just can't. So that very day, the very day that I chose that I want to please God and I want to go where God is telling me to go and I want to do what God is telling me to do, no matter how cringy I feel, no matter how embarrassing I feel, no matter how, God, you know I'm shy, but you want me to talk? Okay, God. Yeah, though you slay me, yet will I trust you. And I'm still trusting in him. And he's still pulling me outside my comfort zone. But he has not let me fail yet. The same ones who laugh at you, sis. The same one who laughed at you, brother. The world go round. 
the world is evolving. They gonna have to come back to you for something. Okay, Joseph. The same ones who threw you in the pit. Okay. They had to come back for you. God God said he's setting it up that way. The the same ones who laughed at me because I'm because I said that I'm quitting my job because God told me to. They came back to me a couple months later and asked me to help them do an application. And no, I'm not boasting, but I'm just letting you know that I will be put to shame because of God. Because I know that God is going to show up. I know that he's faithful. Glory. Be like Abraham and just like, listen, God, I ain't had no child yet. But if you say that I'm going to be a father of many nations, I will trust in you. And guess what? It was charged to Abraham as righteousness glory and the main ones that you're concerned about being embarrassed by like god is going to use you to bless them your family like you're scared of what your family is going to think god you're going to make your mama proud one day god is not going to put you in a situation that's going to tear you down and it just makes them uncomfortable glory to god sometimes the thing that God is calling you to do, make the people around you uncomfortable. That's why you can't speak on much. You just got to do it. If you over the age of 18, you grown, you just got to do it. Like Nike, just do it, baby. You grown. That's what I have to keep on reminding myself. I'm grown. I don't have no kids. I just got to do what God is telling me to do. Mama, I love you. Brother, I love you. But listen, when it's time for me to go, when it's time for me to move, I got to go. I got to go. It's been so many times I didn't look crazy for God. <laughs> but can I tell y'all a secret? Like, I'm madly in love with God. Like, I'm in love with God. So I will look crazy for him. I'll embarrass myself for him. Because I'm in love with him. But this is just somebody right i just want to obey god before i go to bed so i can sleep in peace right that he would never leave you nor forsake you go where he's telling you to go do what he's telling you to do because it's for a reason you're gonna get blessed you're gonna get blessed obey god it's scary i left that job i ain't have no another job lined up i didn't know where god was taking me but God said, move. And guess what? I moved. M baby, move. Just go. Just do it. And God is going to show up. Glory to God. It says, if anyone comes to me and does not hate his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, yes, in your own life, you got to hate yourself. That means that I had, I had to give up some things that I like to follow God. I used to like drinking my strawberries. I used to like smoking my black and mouse i used to like putting on my cute little club outfits and going in and, and just catching the attention of men i used to like that but i had to die to it because i i want to see where this road gonna lead me to if i follow god stop doing this okay god stop going there okay god follow me leave all that behind and follow me that's the price of a discipleship it's a lot of y'all talking, but are you walking it? Will you really lay it down and go where he's telling you to go? Glory to God. I feel like I'm still missing the point that God wants me to make is. You can trust him in the place where he's telling you to go. He's going to protect you when you go there. Because I know it's scary. You, you probably ain't never been there before. You can trust God. Glory. Hmm. And this word is for a specific group of people that he's been telling. It's for a specific group of people in the body of Christ where we are in our season of transition, right? Glory. God got you in that place where he's telling you to go. And it looks funny, right? Because you on your job, your job got benefits. They paying you good, but God is telling you to quit your job. Mama going to be looking at you crazy. I'm telling you now. But God knows what he's doing. God knows. If I would have stayed on that job, y'all, I, 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 I wouldn't have had a job. God had already went ahead of me. 
That's why I'm in love with him because he loves me. He loves me enough to move me off that job before they had a layoff and put me on a job making way more money, better benefits. Glory to God in a career. Glory. God put respect on my name. That's why I love, listen, that's why I'm madly in love with him. I know a lot of people, a lot of y'all get mad at God because he don't do what y'all want him to do when he wants y'all to do. And y'all pout and stump your feet and get mad and you mad at God and you, you stop following God. God don't believe you no more. No, like I literally, I'll be like Abraham, 99 years old, still believing in God. Because I'm in love with him. He's my protector. He's everything to me. He's the very air that I breathe. Lord, if I don't I don't want to wake up if I can't hear from you. And, and he knows that. Glory to God. Like I'm madly in love with God. Mm. And I'll look foolish for him. <laughs> I will. But y'all, whoever this is for, who is struggling with, you feel like God is telling you to do something and then go somewhere, right? This is just confirmation. Listen, do not let YouTube prophets or preachers or man, period, be your only voice, okay? Be your only, the only voice that you have from God. You have to be in that secret place and praying and God is going to speak to you and he's going to use people like me to confirm what he's already said. Because this is a specific word for somebody who is in a specific situation, who is wrestling with moving, but yet they're scared of what family is going to think. Or what people are going to think. God said, you got to hate them. You got... I'm sorry, like, it's here, it's in black and white. If anyone comes to me and does not hate his father and mother. And that seems unnatural because we've been raised to love and obey and, you know, honor our family. But when it comes to the disciples, the discipleship of Jesus Christ, listen, I gotta, I gotta leave it all. I gotta leave my family. I just gotta go. I gotta go. I have to go. There's no question mark behind that. Like I, I gotta go, right? I don't, I don't know where I'm going, but I, I just want you to know that God told me to pack my bags, right? And guess what? Deuces, the girl. Listen, the girl gotta go. The girl gotta go. And it's scary, right? Because y'all know I ain't never been nowhere for real. But. If God be for me, who? If God be for me, who can be against me? And them fine words right there. Them listen, them them fine words. Because if you know you got God with you, can't and can't nobody try you and overcome you. Okay. If God be for me, God, you want me to move by myself to a whole yes, yes, Abraham, leave. Your father's house, leave your 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 family and go to a place where I tell you to go. And I'm going to bless you. Glory to God. In your obedience. Mm, in your obedience. And packing your bags and doing what God is telling you to do. Looking foolish. Looking to, leaving the very people who you know who, who make you feel safe. Glory to God. God, you want me to leave my hometown where if I catch a flat. My my brother be there in five minutes. You want me to go all the way? What? Yeah. Yeah. Leave your family. Leave your father's house. And go to a place where I'm going to show you. Do you trust God? Mm. Do you trust God? And this goes back to our word for this month. Be still and know, right? Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that he's God. Glory to God. And in that stillness, there's peace. I'm not talking about you physically being still because no, like we are in the season of moving, of packing our bags and relocating and transitioning, right? But being still in your mind. Don't let your mind race all over the place. This gonna happen. This can't happen. They can God say he's your protector. Y'all, mm. God is good. 
God is God is good. Okay. He's good. He said, I know the plans that I have for you, plans to prosper you. So listen, there's prosperity in this, okay? But let me tell y'all this. It's a lot of y'all, you know, that's been mad or got angry with God because he didn't give you what you wanted, when you wanted, or how the way, the way that you thought you should have got it or, um, you know, three days later or seven days. In seven days, you're going to get this. Or by this time next year and next year came and you didn't get that. And you get mad. You cuss God out. You stump your feet. But God said that just shows him that you're not ready for that blessing because you're not matured. That means that you was just following him for the blessing all along. You're a user. I don't like users. You just you just with me to see what you can get from me. No. Don't you know God sees your heart? God sees that. That's why people be like, um, you said this was gonna happen. This was gonna like if you're first of all, you gotta ask god you got to seek god for confirmation because every prophetic word is not for everybody god has to confirm if that word is for you specifically like i said when god used me to speak i'm just confirming what he was already he's already been putting in your spirit if you have not been seeking god glory if you have not been seeking god you don't know what he said that's why you're so easy to follow all of these false prophesying voices and all of that and you're confused now because you don't know what what to do it's because you're not seeking god on your own so y'all i don't even mean to get off subject right but i just want to bring it bring it back home and just let you know like i know it's scary but just do it like 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 nike right can i read this scripture one more time it's luke verse is luke chapter 14 i'm gonna start at verse 26 if anyone comes to me and does not hate his father and mother wife and children brothers and sisters yes in his own life also he cannot be my disciple and whoever does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple for which of you intending to build a tower does not sit down first and count the cost whether he has enough to finish it less after he has laid the foundation and is not able to finish all who see it begin to mock him saying this man began to build and was not able to finish or what king going to make war against another king does not sit down first and consider what he is able with ten thousand to meet him who come against him with 20,000. Do you have what it takes to follow Christ? That's the question. Or else while the other is still a great way off, he sends a delegation and asks conditions of peace. So likewise, whoever of you does not forsake all that he has cannot be not my disciple. That's the price that it's going to take, right? To follow Christ. It's going to take all that you have. Glory to God. Do you have what it take, right? Do you have what it take to follow Christ? God didn't give us the spirit of fear, but a peace, love, and a sound mind. And I just want you to know that God is with you, right? God is with you in the unknown territory. He's sending you in that place because you already have the victory. Like, it's already yours. Mm. It's already yours. For a lot of us, God has given us territory from generations before us right from our parents the the places that they were scared to go to right that's why they're kind of intimidated by you because you're so bold right and you you ain't scared right you just like listen god wherever you want me to go i'll go and it's like the people it makes the people around us uncomfortable because they didn't they didn't go like when god gave them that call they didn't go glory but you be the one to go all the way. Go all the way. Go all the way. And your reward will be great. Our reward is great. We are in the midst of our inheritance. Glory to God. Generational payback. Because you're willing to go to places that nobody else would. Nobody else wanted to go. No, nobody else was willing to leave their mama and go 
I pray that this word bring brings you peace, right? In the unknown. Just to know that God is with you and he's going to make a way. So if this word um, bears witness in your spirit, take it back to God. And he's going to confirm it again because he's confirmed it first to me. And then he confirmed it through people around me. Glory. Mm -mm -mm. He said, I'm about to take you to a place that I'm going to show you. Go to a land that I show you, that God himself shows you. He's going to make your name great in that place. Glory to God. Mm -mm -mm. We serve an awesome God. I love y'all so much. I pray that this word bless you. Bye.